with us in our little series of Lyme Intelligence interviews around Australia and New Zealand and what airports are doing and their experience in COVID. Um, we have with us this morning Trevor Wilcox, from, who is the CEO of Mildura Airport. And Trevor, you've been there for 12 months now. It's been a pretty crazy time to start. Welcome. Thanks, Kylie. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, you know, it had a couple of months and then straight into the COVID pandemic. So it, it's been a challenge. Yeah, and you've got a background in airports yourself. You joined Australia from New Zealand. Yeah, that's right. So a number of airports in, in New Zealand. Um, this is my first role in Australia and I'm enjoying it very much and loving the new weather. Excellent. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Yeah, and I guess this morning, I guess the focus was on some of the positive things that Mildura has been doing. And um, I mean, we keep in contact with your team every month. And it just was really great to hear about some of that optimistic leadership that you've been showing in particular for your team. Um, and I just thought it'd be great for you to share some of the stuff that you've been doing in your general approach to COVID, you know, from that holy moly old crap moment at the beginning through to, okay, we've got a plan and this is how we're going to approach it. If you could just share some of that sort of story, that'd be amazing. Yeah, sure, Kylie. So, so obviously, you know, like every airport in Australia, we've been decimated by by the pandemic. Um, you know, ninety five percent drop in passenger numbers, and I'm sure most airports would say the same. Um, so, yeah, we, we, the result of that means that you know you had we had to stand down teams of staff um, or reduce the hours accordingly. So, you know, that's quite a negative impact keep, and, and can have quite a, a, an influence on, on the way your business operates, as, as you would know. Yes. So we, we, we looked at it long and hard and we thought, well, there must be things we can do um, over the next few months that uh, that will keep people engaged and occupied. So, you know, a number of projects like, like garden beautification, um, mm -hmm. landscaping, um, and, you know, we've got a, a block of land that we've purchased to extend the runway at a future date. That's an old vineyard, so uh, yeah. we decided we'd get that keened up. Um, and then we looked internally and said, well, which of our stood down teams would be interested in, in, in you know, in working um, in these sort of projects? So, yeah. um, you know, they could choose. It wasn't a, it wasn't a definite thing. Um, every member got the opportunity to put their hand up for projects. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so that's where we got to. And we've been using everyone that wanted to, to carry on working. Um, we've been using them and, and retraining them wherever possible. That's fantastic. And have you noticed that that's really helped people stay engaged, like having that sort of old, like a purpose to carry on with while their main job may not be operational at the moment? Yeah, absolutely. It just keeps them in touch with, with the airport and with us. Um, and we are, every week we are talking to, to every member that's been stood down, giving them updates, um, giving them timelines. But um, as you know, the, the airline schedules are changing on a daily basis. So yes. it's pretty hard to, to put any definite timelines in place. But, but I think that communication with everybody has yeah. really helped um, and kept everyone positive. That's great. And it sounds like you did it really regularly too. It wasn't just like a once-off thing, like you've been like weekly keeping in contact with everybody. Yeah, that's right. Uh, very important, just so they know where, where we stand, where they stand, yeah. and, and how progress is, is, is moving along. Okay, and you were saying earlier that you're looking at reopening the cafe again, so there's definitely that sort of positive outlook coming up to Christmas now that the Victorian border is open again and um, you know, parts of normality are coming back into the airport. Yeah, that's right. We, we'll, we'll be back to about 30% of pre-COVID capacity in December, okay. uh, which is behind a lot of airports in Australia, but Victoria has been a, a special case. Yes. Then by March, we're hoping to be around about 50% of, of pre-COVID levels. So, you know, the cafe opening was, was part of that strategy. Okay, and that's coming up, that's opening up in December, did you say? Uh, next week, actually. Oh, next week. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And are the team pretty excited about getting back into it again? Oh, they are, yeah. <laughs> They've been sort of waiting and um, everyone's pretty positive and we're opening a new cafe as well, a, a garden cafe outside. So um, okay. the excitement there in the team that who's going to be working where. Yeah, great. So, yeah, it's got a good buzz at the moment. I'm very happy. Excellent. Well, look, we really appreciate your time this morning and congratulations on just staying positive and, you know, having a clear strategy for your team and um, commend you certainly on that constant communication. And obviously that's going to be 
putting you in a good position going forward when things start to return to normal and having a team that's ready and willing and able rather than feeling a bit flat, you know, to have them engaged, that's a great head start. So congratulations to you guys on that leadership optimism. I really, I think that's a great thing. Thanks, Carly, appreciate that. Yeah, thank you very much, Trevor, cheers. No worries, cheers.